The ground. So my brothers and sisters, as you pray, you are displaying for the world how Isa, Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, prayed. Which was praying to the God Almighty, as they call him the Father in heaven, as we call him Allah, as the Jews call him uh, Elohim, as in Aramaic he's known as Ilaha, the one true God, Allah, the God of Abraham, the be Allah Akbar! There, so please don't be shy. Move up and watch and read along and follow along with this. Is that okay? It is time for our next Tarawih, inshallah, Surah Waqiyah. Please stand up and show. But cleanse your heart, my brothers and sisters. We ask Allah SWT to bless us and to forgive us. We're about to speak. Come here, we give that Surah Ad. Alhamdulillah <laughs> I never said I was God. It was you who invented lies against me. He is an upright Muslim. Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, is a Muslim. He preached Islam, and Islam simply means to serve. <laughs> Glorify me, because it is from me that he will receive the blessings. Who is this he? May Allah bless this earth that was playing on to be a witness for us on Yom Qiyamah that we are praying while there are bystanders who are not Muslim, maybe this is their first time seeing a Muslim pray in person. But Allah makes things easy. Allah gave us permission. Allah helped us with the permits. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted his Quran to be recited over here in Times Square. People ask the question. They're like, how are you going to have khushu over here? You don't even have khushu in your own masjids. You don't have khushu praying by yourself. Khushu doesn't come from your location. It comes from the purity of the heart. It comes from the intentions. And it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opening your heart. So khushu will be here when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places in your heart. What your name, brother? SQ. 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 Can I get a question? I, I don't want to take a picture. Just yeah. A hug? A hug is even better. You're warm. So hug me longer. <laughs>
That's you. Can I, yes. can I get a quick question here? Yes, go so, for it. So, uh, what made you do this uh, Ramadan event again? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Tarawi in Times Square, Alhamdulillah, by Allah's permission, is an official annual thing that we do. Alhamdulillah, Allah has chosen us to glorify the Quran inside of the heart of not only New York City, but also the world. Over a million people pass through this. Thousands, uh, hundreds of different countries come through over here. Different languages, different ethnicities, different religions. And our job is to teach the world about the Quran. So we gave out at least a thousand Qurans tonight. Fully gone. This is the last Quran that we have. So I'm looking for a non-Muslim to give this to, inshallah. Let's say translation, English translation of the Quran. So I need to find a non-Muslim to give this to, inshallah. So it's my last one. Uh, I heard you, were, you also mentioned the situation in Gaza. What's your message on that? Well, we need to obviously need a ceasefire to stop everything right now. We need aid and food to get to our brothers, sisters in Palestine. And wallahi, throughout Ramadan and throughout every single day, there are our du'as. And every time we're breaking our fast and holding our fast, we're making du'a for them. But freedom will come to Palestine, inshallah. And we will be the ones who liberate Palestine, inshallah. So I'm looking at my brother. Thank you very much. Hey, we've done so many events together, mashallah, tabarakallah. He's one of those guys where you want around any time you leave the house. There's been so many times we went to go get coffee, we're in line to get coffee, and I turn around, I don't see him, but he's giving dawah to someone drinking coffee. Takbir! So many times I walked down on the sidewalk. You, even though you might be disobedient to him, so please, please, have the full khushu, have the... To this event here, uh, what does Ramadan mean to you? Uh, Ramadan, you know, we have to be very patient, you know, we have to pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us end the war in Gaza. We have to be very patient with the Zionists because the Zionists, you know, they've been killing a lot of civilians. Uh, so Ramadan is about patience, it's about perseverance, like, like how the Palestinians are persevering against the Israeli diaper force. By the way, guys, IDF stands for Ihmar Diaper Force, just so you know. So uh, we pray for the people of Gaza to be saved, inshallah, from Israel. It's going to happen very soon. And my message to the Israeli government and to all governments that support Israel, Ramadan, you are not lucky that Ramadan is happening right now because all the attention will be on you. The gates of hell have opened for the oppressor and the gates of heaven has opened for the oppressed. So I tell Netanyahu and the Israeli government, be careful. If you don't achieve a ceasefire this Ramadan, all of us are going to go into to the streets and we're going to boycott Israel and the Ummah might, might wake up and Israel will end soon because you guys are low on pampers, low on diapers, okay? Ramadan Kareem, al to the Israel, al maut to the Zalimun, wa salamu alaykum. Ali, alhamdulillah, takbir! MashaAllah, we're going to have the... As a uh, big shake is getting mic'd up, Dr. Faraj.
تعلم ما في نفسي ولا أعلم ما في نفسك إنك أنت علام الغيوب ما قلت لهم إلا ما أمرتني به أن اعبدوا الله ربي وربكم وكنت عليهم شهيدا Brothers and sisters, the solution is not to build a canal. The solution is not to build a new port. It's to let the food in. Feed those brothers and sisters of Palestine who are there trying to starve to death. Feed them. Give them the food. How are they going to be holding their fast, my brothers and sisters? How are they going to be having their suhoor? How will they be having? How will they be having their... It's not just on camera, but the dialogue continues even off camera. <laughs> 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 يرسل عليكما شواظ من نار ونحاس فلا تنتصران فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فإذا شقت السماء فكانت وردة كالدهان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فيومئذ لا يسأل عن ذنبه إنس ولا جان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان الله أكبر الله أكبر mankind. This Quran is the rubric. It is the Furqan. It is what all of mankind will be judged based upon. The other books have been touched, corrupted, changed, altered, subtraction, addition inside the books. The Quran is only one. <laughs> Sorry, here we go. I'm gonna start recording now. Let's do this. All right, guys. I'm here in Times Square. It's cold. Allah. I'm not here to talk about my institute because Najm Institute, Warrior of Life, Zamzam Boys, and every single Islamic organization and institute out there, we're on the same team. This is not like a competition. And our goal is the same, and that is to spread Islam. Why are here right now? Because at the time of the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they told the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Who al abtar? Your name, Muhammad. Everyone will forget it. No one will remember the name of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They say he's abtar. He doesn't have a son that will carry his name. 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded that no, no, he's not Akbar. Ya Akbar, wa rafa'na lika, laka dhikra. Allah says that I will raise the name of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today we're here with one goal. And that is because it is our job and our responsibility. Every single Muslim, it is our job and our responsibility to spread the kalma la ilaha illallah. So that every person on this planet will say the kalma la ilaha illallah. We're standing in this country. In what brings you out here today and uh, tell me what does Ramadan mean to you and uh, why have an event in Times Square? I'm here to volunteer just to help my friends out there organizing this event. I thought it would be some a good blessing to do for my friends for Ramadan. Ramadan is, you know, last month. I'm excited it's here. Ramadan is just the most peaceful month. It's like it's just undescribable. I actually just came from Umrah, which is like, you know, a religious process you do in Saudi, Arabia. Saudi Arabia. And I felt like I got closer to this religion and I've been reading the Quran in English. I read the whole thing in Arabic. Now I'm reading it in English and I'm understanding it better and it's just the truth and I'm just I just want to be part of everything that's going on and I'm just blessed to be here. Uh, this is the third year it's being held here. Last year was held on the other side of Times Square. Now it's being held in the main part of Times Square. What do you think of the organizers trying to send a message to about Muslims in America or rather than to like non-Muslims or New Yorkers in general? We're peaceful people and we're people of all nations, all races and you know anyone can just come and pray with us and anyone can come and ask questions. Anyone can grab a free Quran. We're here to spread the message and in a peaceful manner. Do you have anything else you want to say? Just ha have a blessed Ramadan everyone and just I hope everything goes well for everyone and everyone stays healthy and have a blessed year as well. Can you spell your name? My name is Akib. That's A-A-Q-I-B. Akib. Can I get your last name? Muhammad. Are you from New York City? Yes, I am. I am. Okay. Alright, thank you very much. You're welcome. إنما العصر يسرى السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Who is this he that he's talking about? He is indeed talking about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You see my brothers and sisters, my Christian brothers and sisters Islam is We are yelling off the top of our lungs, La ilaha illallah. We are yelling, La ilaha illallah. And we want to spread the message that there is absolutely no one worthy of worship except for Allah. And that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is going to carry his name? We are. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. إذني فتنفخ فيها فتكون طهرا بإذني وتبرئ الأكمه والأبرص بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم 
صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجن من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يخرج منهما اللؤلؤ والمرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان وله الجوار المنشآت في البحر كالأعلام فبأي آلاء ربكما بكما تكذبان الله أكبر الله أكبر So this is it before we start I want you to do one final call glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala glorifying the last and final prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because Jesus Moses Abraham they were all Muslims alhamdulillah they came with the same message of you know what this is I'm gonna tell you brothers and sisters in Palestine think about our brothers and sisters in Gaza think about them remember them سمع الله لمن حمد ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله الله أكبر